each other unconditionally. I'm home! But the older I got, I realized how wrong I was. Why did you pay the rent late? It was only by a day! And I had to accept that we weren't the perfect family. I thought we were. There's no such thing oh. as perfect, even if it hurts. Go cry about it. There were nights where all we would do is argue. My sister was slightly older than me and was in college. And she would still run, crying to my room whenever this happened. Did I cry too? Yes. Aww. Come on, bro. Sad. Because it hurt to know that two people were supposed to love each other don't. But this night was different. Stay here. Where are you going? To tell them to calm down. Ah. Oh, oh hey, he's, he's got a purpose. On, he's walking with stride. Yeah. It's always the same thing with you. Nothing is going to happen if we pay bills one day late. Can you guys stop <laughs> arguing? Daddy, chill. Son. Don't sun me right now, Mama. You two are always arguing over something. Always! Do you both know how traumatizing that can be? Because I don't think you f***ing know! Oh my Whoa. god! Wow! Sense with that! <laughs> Sebastian! Language! <laughs> Language? Did you even hear a single thing I said? Seems like you don't even care about us. What about us? What about how we're doing? Don't use that tone of voice on me. You always pull this. You never ask how we're feeling. At the end of the day, you only care about yourself. Look at what you both did. All you're going to do is make us hate you. Just get a divorce already! Whoa. And that was harsher. Wow. That's more chill. Wow. <laughs> Pack your bags. What? We're going to live with Abuelo and Abuela. Did you ask them? I did, and they said it was a good idea. We need to get out of here. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, we're not packing any bags. The we're just leaving. City. To the to the <laughs> to the big city. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are here. Us too, abuela. Now we can eat your food all day. Do the same, I see. Did you expect something different? After moving, I also started at a new school. Ooh, look at your new uniform. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Along with the new school, I met new people. And one of those people was Dax Harrington. Three months later, you asking me out on a date, pretty boy? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Just answer the question. Depends on if you'll say yes. Mm. I'll have to think about it. I'll let you know by the end of the day. And that was how our love story started. Whoa. Oh my god! Oh, okay, oh. already? Yeah. Oh. Dax okay. became my escape. No matter what happened, he was there. I love you so much, Dax. I love you too, Sebastian. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I promise I'll never leave your side. So you're stuck with me. <laughs> That's fine with me. So how the hell did we go from being this lovey-dovey couple to this? <gasps> Whoa, oh my god, did he beat oh you gosh. up? What happened? I keep on having the same dream over and over again. The day of my sister's death. Luna! I need an ambulance now! What happened? <laughs> oh... I'm so tired. I'm so sorry for what I've got to put you through. I never wanted to hurt any of you, but I'm so done. Even if I'm with a full crowd, I feel so alone. I'm very unhappy with life, with school, with myself. I love you guys so much, and I'm sorry. I love you, Mom. I love you, Dad. Thank you for being, always being there for me, or else I love you too. Continue trying to get the career in music you always wanted. I'm so sorry I won't be here for when you achieve your goals. Thank you for being the best big brother I could ask you. No. Don't cry for me. I'm so sorry. Sincerely, Lou. No. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't hear anything. Just this. Time of death was 17 o'clock. Another year of misery. It's time to go, Eros. Ash, you won't leave me either, right? <laughs> what? You're my best friend, Eros. Where's this coming from? <laughs> I just feel so alone. I haven't been able to do anything right. I'm trapped in my room all day. 
And no matter what I do, I just feel exhausted. I just need to know that I have at least one person that cares enough to leave me in misery again. If you don't clear your throat, you're gonna have no people in your life. I didn't know you felt this way. I would never leave. I have no idea what I'd do if you weren't in my life. You've helped me through so much. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Just oh, yeah. Your sister would be so proud of you. I promise. Five years ago, I watched the person I love get himself hurt in order to save someone else. <laughs> ah. We have put Mr. Garcia in a coma. Why would you do that? There was brain damage caused by a lack of oxygen for too long. There has also been severe injury to the head that hurts the brain. What would happen if Sebastian never wakes up from the coma? Can you explain to me more about it? Comas can last from several days to several weeks. In more severe cases of a coma, they last for over five weeks, while some have lasted as long as several years. And after this time, some patients gradually come out of the coma. Some progress to a vegetable state and others die. So what should I do? In situations like this, I could always say, he'll wake up soon. Don't worry. But with his conditions, I have to uh, say only one thing to say. <laughs> Prepare yourself. That's like what you say before you attack someone. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Oh my god. Beep, 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 beep. Every second, every minute, everything was the same. I would go to the hospital after work. Will somebody turn off that horn monitor? <laughs> I would go to the hospital after at work and tell him about my day. If he did not hear me, I still wanted to tell him because he was the love of my life. But then the seasons started to change. Spring, summer, fall, the winter. Dang, I'm good looking. Then I started to change too. There were countless nights where I would drown myself in uh, silly juice. I started to believe that Sebastian would never wake up. He was going to leave me just like soon. I would leave him. Wait, what? No! No! No, no, no! One night, I couldn't sleep at all. So I decided to go to the club. <laughs> I was just going for a couple of drinks. Well, that's what I thought. Okay. But that's when this stranger approached me. He was attractive. I never thought it was a crime to find someone else attractive. Let me buy you a drink. No, he said in a sensual voice. And all it took was for him to approach me to find out that Bastion was not the love of my life. And no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't convince myself the opposite. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please don't oh, yeah. Please don't, oh, yeah. please don't <laughs> Because every kiss, every touch made me feel things I've never felt with Sebastian. The morning after I woke up terrified, thinking I just made the biggest mistake of my life. I had cheated on Sebastian. To get out of there as fast as I could and forget the night filled with passion I shared with that stranger. But my heart told me to stay. My heart betrayed my mind and so did my legs. And maybe things could have been different if I hadn't stayed. But either way, it didn't change the fact that I cheated on him and the outcome would be the same. If I had stayed or gone, I would end up breaking his heart. Uh, 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 uh what's... Oh my god, you're awake! Well, where, where am I? Right, I guess you're still a little woozy. I'll call your family in a bit. But first, you need a doctor. But she's so loud, oh... Dax, I'm awake! What's going on, babe? And and who's that guy? This is my boyfriend, Alex. <laughs> Very funny joke, Dax. But seriously, who is he? I'm not lying. Why am I calling you sweetheart if you're not my boyfriend anymore? I'm giving you mixed signals. I'm not lying, sweetheart. You... You, 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 I couldn't form any words. My mouth began to feel dry, and I also began to feel lightheaded. How was it that Dax had moved on? Was everything that we went through not enough to stay together? All of my biggest fears were becoming a reality. He was leaving me. I'm in love with him, and he's breaking my heart. Babe, go wait for me outside. I do wish we could have met under different circumstances. But unfortunately, that's not the case here. Have a good life. Sweetheart. Stop it! You lost the right to call me that. You need to understand from my point of view. You were in a coma for five years. You didn't expect me to wait for you, right? Wow. Uh, what? I kind of did. A little bit, yeah. Of course! 
faggot! Sorry. I heard every damn word you told me. If roles were reversed, I would have waited for you. We aren't the same person, Sebastian. When we got together, we were just teenagers who thought we were in love. So, you're saying this was a mistake? What? No, I... Were we a mistake, Dax? Hmm? Hmm? I need you to answer me! I'm not saying that. I thought I was in love with you. I thought you were my soulmate. But at the end of the day, I've never loved you the way I love that weird-sounding guy, Alex. <laughs> wow. I can't keep stringing you along. Get out. What? Listen, you're right. Can't force you to love me. It hurts. A lot. I'll probably be out of it for a couple days. But I'll be fine. I, I, I really hope I will. All I ever knew was you. It was you and I for everything. <sighs> so, go on. Any minute now, I'll start crying. I'll always have a special place in my heart for you, Sebastian. Please try to move on. <laughs> uh, uh, where'd my thumb go? Yeah, nobody uh, likes that. Ah, brother! You talked to Dex already, right? <laughs> what was his reaction? Uh, he broke up with me. Angela, it's fine. I agreed on it too. I'm okay. Well, let's go home. This is an opportunity to meet new people and find out what he really wants in life. But at the same time, he was so broken. The promise Dax had made him in high school kept replaying in his mind. And I promise I'll never leave your side, side, side. <laughs> Sebastian brought Dax into his life. He thought he was going to stay. So now all his favorite foods have endless memories with him. Oh, Dax! <laughs> Every day, places now have his scent. How was Sebastian supposed to move on when Dax is intended into his life? It seems as if their love faded away into nothing more but hideous anguish. It was ruinous and forsaken. They carried their love like they carried their blood. It just slightly slipped through their fingers. Death didn't tear them apart. They did it themselves. Sebastian? Huh, what's up? There's some really special people I'd like you to meet. Would you mind coming with me? Uh, sure. Ah! Really? Get changed quickly. We're here. It's warm outside. How it always is. <laughs> Let me just brush this dust off. All right. I hope I look good. I believe Philly is so overrated. West. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Be honest. <laughs> what a cool one. It's such a joke. <laughs> that joke is so overrated. Did I ask? Oh, my God. Okay. I don't no. want to do the same one. Oh, bickering like children. Shut it! I want to listen to it to into it. Go listen to it somewhere else. I know you want to listen to Ash. Bye. When, when did you say your brother's coming? He'll come soon. He was just getting ready. Hey, this is my girlfriend, Chloe. Nice to meet you. You too. Some of my friends are here too, but they're at the beach. Where's Eros? He was just here. He said he's going to look around. Er, I'm gonna go take a walk, okay? Oh, whoa! My guy! Oh, oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, 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 what the heck was that? Oh, oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what was that for? You're the one that was about to jump? <laughs> I wasn't gonna jump. Then why were you standing there, you idiot? I was just looking at the view. What's the big deal if I do anyways? You hardly know me. And that's not supposed to stop me from helping someone. And also, you have special people that care about you. They could be a friend, a significant other, even family. Who are you, my therapist? I just wanted to help. Hmm. Uh, well, the person I love left me two months ago. It's no big deal. It's not like I said. <laughs> I laughed to hide the pain. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> There was a fake persona. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I knew. I knew. Because I've done it before. Back in my high school years. I was in my third year of music school here in LA. Dad do something wrong. I promise I'll never do it again. Not at all, Eros. You applied to the Glenn Miller Birthplace Society Scholarship Program? You know, with my sister's death, um, I didn't want to put any pressure on my parents. Congratulations. 
That's not a very wise thing to say after I mentioned my sister's death. What? No, I, um... Uh... You've been granted the scholarship, you buffoon. Are you serious? They love your song cover. They mentioned that you have an outstanding voice. Are you sure? Positive. Stop doubting yourself. Thank you so much. Don't thank me, just do the work. Oh, and you're also going to be uh, something big someday, Mr. Eros. That as well. Oh yeah, thank you. Babe. <laughs> What's up? You look like a grandpa wearing those clothes. I look better than you. <laughs> you sure? I look better than you. You wish. I hate what's wrong. I got the scholarship I applied for. I mean, that's great. Why aren't you happy? Well, I know you haven't gotten any scholarships, so, you know. I didn't want to rub my success in your face. I didn't want to make you feel bad, you know? What? Please don't do that. I want to be there for you. all your successes. I'm glad you got the scholarship. I did get the scholarship, by the way. You got it. Uh, this is so cringy now. <laughs> oh, what what am I doing? Whoa. What the heck was oh, that? Oh, yeah. Here, kitten. I love oh. you Ooh. so much. Oh, yeah, I know. I got a scholarship, too. Oh, my, 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 my. Stop saying you have oh, a yeah. scholarship. We have class. Let's go. A war. Oh, Light whoa. Power couple. What's wrong? Chase, boyfriend. Eros, I... I dot dot. Hello? Is this Eros Vaganesius? Oh, yeah. Speaking. We're calling from Pasadena Music Academy. As in the biggest music academy in California? Crap. We have some things to offer you. What are they? We would like for you to make music for us. You will also get the chance to meet young artists. If that's supposed to make me want to go to your academy, then you're mistaken. I heard about all the things you guys do there. I wouldn't want to be in charge of your organization like that. I'll gladly decline. You don't understand. This could be a great chance for you. For the academy that's supposed to be the best, you guys sure do some crazy shit down there. I wonder what else you guys do. Hmm, wouldn't want to risk people finding out, huh? I'm not stupid. Don't contact me again! You'll be nothing without us. Oh, not to sound cocky or anything, but I already have other five music labels begging for me to sign. In fact, it'll be your loss, not mine. Don't contact me again! What were we saying? <laughs> Bird? Disappointment. Coughing. Ugh, why are you coughing? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Eros, I know you're holding me by my naked chest right now, but I think we should break it. What? What did I do? I thought I was perfect. I promise I'll never do it again. Please don't leave me. You're the best thing I have in my life. You came into our life when I least expected it. It was you who made me feel like I really belonged here. I, um, it's not you, it's me. Believe me. Leave. Then why? Why are you trying to destroy us? We want different things. You don't want to start a family because you hate kids. Don't you see it? We can't be in a relationship if we want completely different things. Whose fault is it, huh? I always told you I was never interested in starting a family with anyone. Oh, so now it's my fault? I never said it was your f***ing fault. All I'm saying is you had all those chances to leave. So why now, huh? When I'm already attached, it'll be harder for us now. <laughs> you don't want to start a family because of your dead sister. Don't go there with me, Chase. Was that really necessary? You didn't have to bring her up, but you're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> just get out, Chase. And just like that, Arrow's life came crashing down. And all within a few minutes, temporary lovers. That's exactly what they were. They knew they would work out from the start, but liked each other's company. They wanted completely different things from the start, but the company Chase gave Eros was all he had, and Chase loved him when he wasn't lovable. So Eros quickly became addicted to Chase, his temporary lover, but then even more heartbroken by him. But shortly after all those temporary sleepless nights became an everyday thing, over and over and over again. And the storm clouds. Purple light. 
talking. I'm sorry about that. Do you maybe want to talk about it? I'm not really the type to talk about my feelings. What about you? You silenced out a bit before. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. You say so. I'll see you around maybe. Idiot. Idiot! Kinda suits you. Uh, bye. Let the rain fall down. She's a tree, a jet, a flower, growing wild. Upon me were lyrics, unfinished ones, and beautifully written ones. We laughed together, we cried together. These simple feelings were everything. I, when it will it be? If I see you again, I will look into your eyes and say, I missed you. I missed you. We laughed together, we cried together. These simple feelings were everything I had. And say, I missed you. Don't even rhyme. That, but it was beautiful. These lyrics, they are incredible. I could feel the emotion. I've tried over and over to write a song I can truly connect to, but never had any luck. Every time I've tried to write a song, they always come out horrible, mainly because they were all about him. I couldn't feel anything besides the heartbreak. I couldn't connect to anything, but I think hope is lost for me. It's not like I'll ever see him again. Are they in a boat? Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 that's standing! How, How did she go? I fell forward! I can't tic tac couple! Tic tac. Oh, but I wiped. <gasps> hey! Whoa. Angela! I'll be back! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Uh, kissing, whatever. Kissing. Idiot. Uh, Get up! You made me fall! Really? I didn't know. You. Me. We talked earlier, remember? No. I'm just kidding! That is not funny. Or maybe you just don't understand my humor? Whatever. That's not important. Why did you push me off? How did you get that book? It fell when you left. <sighs> Thank you for getting it. But listen, you can't show that to anyone. You're friends with my sister. I don't want anyone fighting now. Who's your sister? Angela. She didn't tell you? Who's your sister? Are you supposed to be in a coma? Is that all I'm known for? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Why don't you want anyone to find out about the songwriting part about you? You're good at it. Gossip, 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 gossip. Grandma! Uh, how are you guys? Good, Mom. And double tough, Mom. I know you love him, but there's something about him. That's I just want what's best for you. Everything's fine. If you say so. Before I'm leaving for work. Okay, Mommy. Where's Angela? She left with a friend. I have to go. Listen to Grandma! Grandma, I'm gonna help you with the flower store when I'm older. Let's see if that's true. What did you want to talk about? Sebastian, what do you want to do when you finish school? Uh, well, my dad wants me to go to college. I'm not talking about him. What do you want to do? I've never seen a future with college. I'd like to take over the flower shop. And you're sure of that? Ever since I was young. Well then, you do so. Why'd you give it to me? So God can take care of you. Thank you. Your grandma was looking for you. <laughs> By private reasons. Well, you should go first. Wow. I love my sister, but if she sees the both of us together, she'll start asking a lot of questions. And I'm honestly not in the mood for that right now. I understand. See you. I'm going to perform tonight. Like in front of people? No, in front of animals. You're ready for that? It's not a huge deal. It's a big deal! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You guys come, right? I'll have to sneak out. My abuela doesn't like it when we're out late. I'll have to sneak out, too. You know, I will. Me, too. I'll come. Um, I'll even go to Sandia. Ugh, we'll see. It starts at 10. Where are you going? Just got out with a couple friends. It's a little late for that, don't you think? I'll be fine. Mom? Mom working late again? Yes. <sighs> Speaking of your mother. Nothing bad happened to her, right? Oh, what? Oh, not at all. Then what is it? Oh, well, your mother and I were talking the other day, Brielle. Julius? What's bothering you? Nothing. We've been married 14 years. What's bothering you? It's about Eros. Did he do something wrong? No. Then what's the issue? 
I just wish he'd spend more time with us. I'd count myself lucky if I even see him once. I'll talk to him. We both just want to spend time with you. We haven't had a proper conversation in a while. I'm sorry. I'll just try harder. But I have to go now. Get out so I can change. <laughs> Lesson up! I have a special guest, a friend of mine who I met in high school. His name is Eros Vanskevetkin. I hope you enjoy. All right, yeah, Eros! Woo! Yeah, Eros. Yeah. Woo! It's been a while, and a while since I felt this way. The feeling of being in front of an audience. <laughs> the feeling of doing something I love, and I missed it. Secrets I have felt in my heart are hard to hide, and I thought being on stage feels like pure magic. Maybe I just want to be yours, and I want to be yours. Being on stage is more than just a feeling to me, it's more than that. Some say it feels like home, others say it makes me feel safe. The first time I was on stage, it was terrible. I got stage fright, and I ran off the stage. I ended up meeting people who have helped me with the stage fright. Ever since then, being on stage has always just been something that felt natural. It's an adrenaline rush, the high, if you will. <laughs> you know the audience is watching only you. Everything you do on stage, they're paying attention. Woo! It's a really cool it. thing to know. <laughs> Previously. Huh. Oh, whoa. You smell like sh- <laughs> What do you want? Cry some songs for me. Yo, man. Oh, he's gonna oh, go. Oh, 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 oh